My dream was to tell the story of my mom and her two sisters. Three young Slovakian girls who did not want to be in this book. They had dreams, they had hopes, and by act of cruelty and hatred, they ended up in Auschwitz-Birkenau. Why? Because they happen to be Jewish. The odds of surviving Auschwitz-Birkenau, it's close to zero. We had a loving, beautiful childhood with laughter and love. But I think uh, kids in general can read between the lines and can get cues from parents. There was some heavy burden on my mom that slowly peeled itself off and as I grew older, noticing the number on her arm and the sadness in her eye, she must have been in a terrible, terrible place. I always wanted to tell the story about my mother, Magda and Tzibi. And I thought that the dream of this opportunity was lost, and then suddenly, Ruth was born. באנו. אז זהו, זה הניע כל מיני דברים. פאם was hunting in the store for some last minute gifts. I had a walk about. אז בחנות הזו יש איזה שתיים שלושה מדפים, ואני מסתכל ואני רואה ספר שקוראים לו הטטוס המקעקע של אושוויץ. When I see a book on the Holocaust, it's like a magnet. I pick it up and I look at it. Kidai liknot, lo liknot. Gid lachem kama paamim, otseti et ze mi atarmil shebi. Lakachat, lo lakachat, lakachat, lo lakachat. Im dori tidai, tarog oti, ot sefer ala shoa. We have a tradition when Pam and I come for a visit. Ezu chamida. All the cousins are invited to Ima's apartment. We laugh and we joke and we eat and we schmooze. I tell my mom that I have this book, The Tattooist of Auschwitz, if she's interested in reading it. My homeland. She's pointing to the book, she's pointing to the... I, I know them, I know them. I know Lali, and I know Gita. She was a friend, and they were neighbors. So when we talked about the book, she sent an email to Heather. And within five minutes, we get an email back. Heather has sent an email to Heather. She told us that she's on her way to South Africa. She's on her way to South Africa. Yes, on a book tour. And she's on a book tour. We talked for the next several days. And then Heather said, my publisher would really like me to come to Israel because she has to meet this fascinating and interesting woman. I just, I just hear from you that you know Gita. היא רצתה לשמוע הכל. It was a kind of a routine. Heather came in the morning, we ate breakfast together. I can tell you stories that you won't believe it. We had amazing talks with Heather. She's so patient and lovely, and Heather has a beautiful way of speaking and listening. My mom 
she opened up to, I guess, little segments that uh, Pam and I didn't know, and uh, even my sister didn't know. Just cruelty yes. beyond so that's, comprehension. I can't understand. I hope you never do understand it because it is cannot be understood. I can't. I came to my sisters, and I told her, "Did we went through this?" She said, "You are not normal." <laughs> <laughs> When it came the last day, she casually says, you know, somebody should tell Ima and, and her sister's story. Of course, Heather, of course, you're the one that's going to tell the story, only you. And here is the story of the three sisters. It's unbelievable. It's um, mind blowing. <laughs> the story is not lost. It's here to stay. It's a piece of life and history of my mom and her two sisters and their courageous journey from hell to Israel. They stay true to their word, supporting what, what their father asked to keep the promise they'll be safe and take care of one another they listen to Papa. They listen to him. That's what they did. And here we are. All of us are grateful for that. <laughs>